laps well done three points on the board and a club record broken as well yeah fantastic feeling uh, obviously we've we're playing against promotion rivals today so getting the three points and yeah it's just massive uh, haven't had a chance to see the table yet but i'd imagine it looks better than if we wouldn't have won <laughs> i believe we're up to fourth just uh, behind northampton on goal difference oh yeah oh uh That'd be good. That must have meant that must have meant that must have been some of the results went our way. But uh, as I say, I haven't seen it, so yeah, hopefully we're in a good position. Firstly, how is it to be back at home this afternoon? Because it's been a long time coming. Yeah, it was class to be fair. I was near enough to set out, wasn't it? That was it. But yeah, uh, yeah, they were as loud as ever, and just thank you to all the fans for getting down and backing us. Talk us through uh, the, the performance then this afternoon. Ollie Hawkins, there was a difference at the back winning every single header going, but he won the most important one of all, didn't he, on 20 minutes? Yeah, he was class all day, to be fair. He uh, dominated his striker, he was winning free kicks, and then obviously in the attacking threat, he obviously is a massive attacking threat for us. So, yeah, dominant performance for him and for him and buzzing for him. What can this result do for you as a squad going into the rest of the season, especially the next two games? Because when you look at it on paper, league leaders on Tuesday night and then the league's bottom side on Saturday, although, of course, that is not a given at all. Nah, nah none of the games will be a given, we know that. Uh, just got to focus on Tuesday night first. I think I don't know how they got on. Uh, hopefully we can just get into them early doors, get in their faces and get a decent result there. Yeah, and uh, I suppose you guys will be itching to sort of go out there and actually see more than four minutes action this time. <laughs> yeah, that'll be class. Hopefully the fog don't come down and stop play. So, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll get a proper game in. And talking about this afternoon as well, it should have been way more. Um, their goalkeeper was absolutely fantastic today, especially the one from, from Matty Longstaff. And how much was, was that sort of starting to sort of annoy you guys as well? Because you're seeing him pull off those saves and you're thinking, is it going to come? Is it going to happen? Uh, yeah, obviously, their keeper I thought was incredible today. Made a few very good saves. Uh, but you can see why they're a threat, even, even though, as you say, he was quite dominant in large parts of the games. It was only 1-0. They were throwing their bodies in front of it and they did look they did look to have some threat when they attacked us. So they're a good team uh, and it's obviously good that we've got the three points. Yeah, and uh, as you say, uh, on home soil today, breaking that uh, record. How good was it to be back in front of the fans? I think we've had something like one or two home games in the last nine or ten games, which is just ridiculous. Yeah, crazy, to be fair. Like The fans just... All games singing, singing. I think you can see, like, even last 15 minutes when we're on our knees, uh, fans keep you going. And I think you can say any player out there stopped until the final whistle. So, yeah, thank you to the fans again. And just, yeah, just a good day for us. And another thank you to the fans. You guys, as a club, have made sure you've put the, the coaches on for them to get down to Forest Green on Tuesday night. Oh, that's class. I didn't actually know that. But to hear that, that's a, a nice touch from the owners and the people above so hopefully they can get down there and support us. How big is it going to be this end of the season because uh, you know we, we're getting the momentum now we've got into those uh, got close to those automatic places so a lot of games still to be played there I think we've got the most out of anybody. Yeah I think we've still got eight left so there's a lot of play points to play for nothing was won or lost today uh, just take it game by game as cliche as it sounds if we go there Tuesday and get a result we're looking at the table and it's looking even better for us so Choose. can't wait for Tuesday. And how does Nigel Clough, the manager, ensure you do that? Because it must be so tempting to look at the, the, the table, look at the fixture list, look at the form table and think, we'll get a point there, get three there. Yeah, obviously, Gaffer probably does look at that, to be fair. But as a player, uh, you're just going out to win every game. Uh, yeah, and hopefully, as I say, Tuesday is the most important one to us. What's it like preparation side at this time of the season? Because you get so many players picking up little knocks and niggles. Jamie Murphy out, Reese Oates comes off today as well. Does it change the way that you have to prepare for games when you're not quite sure who's going to be starting on that uh, on that match night? Uh, yeah, of course. But I think you never really know who's going to be starting anyway. We've got such a strong squad that if you look at our bench, we've probably got one of the strongest benches in League Two today. So literally any one of them players on the bench would come in and start and there'll be players not even in the squad that could come in and start quite comfortably in this team so yeah I wouldn't say injuries would affect people's mindset going into the game because you go into any given game anyone can play anywhere can't they? Yeah, absolutely, and you certainly saw that uh, saw that today. And let's talk a little bit about you of late as well. You've uh, been in and amongst the goals. Didn't get on the score sheet today, but even if you'd have got a shot off, I think their keeper might have pulled off a worldie anyway. But uh, you've been improving week upon week, and must be really enjoying your running the side at the minute. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I think I had a little quad injury, to be fair, and that nigg that was niggling with me. Uh, I think more than anything, I think I said to Gaff, I just had a bit of a break, and now my body just feels like ready to go again. So hopefully, it's happening at a good time. There's still. When I come back, there's still a quarter of the season left, so hopefully I'm trying to put a strong end of the season in. We stand here at an empty one-course stadium now, but you can still sort of hear the, the, the noise sort of ringing around in your ears because it's so good. At the back end of the season, last four games, three of which are at home, how key is that home advantage going to be? 
Yeah, massive. If they get behind us today, uh, like they did today, which I'm, I have no doubts they will, uh, we've got every chance. And as I say, we're not really can't really look at the last four games yet. We've still got the four before it, so uh, see what happens on Tuesday. Absolutely. And finally, what's your message to the fans ahead of that game on Tuesday night against the league leaders? A very big test. Yeah, just come and get behind us. They know we'll put in a shift, and we know we'll be competitive. So hope to see you there. Thank you very much. Well done today.